Hi, we are on day three on our house build here in uh, Iloko Sur. Uh, they're starting uh, with the footers to put down the steel footing, the footers uh, today. And um, I told them that they need to make sure that the bottom is level almost. And then we put gravel and then we compact it before they put the steel. So let's go down and see what they did or they, what they have done. It's still early in the morning, it's only 8, so 8.11. Okay, they've been working half an hour only, <laughs> but still a lot of progress. Things happening when you have, uh, looks like we're ending up with 12 people. It's supposed to be 14, but uh, two of them never showed up and uh, no information, no nothing. That is uh, sometimes hard here in the Philippines. That and uh, one of the workers, uh, the mother of one of the workers who didn't show up said that the workers need to have a favor and that's it and not what kind of favor, no nothing. But anyway, so just uh, I guess we are happy with the 12 we have. So let's see what they are doing. Okay, they are welding on uh, stones. Yeah, why not? No, it's okay. Why not? Hey. Ideally, uh, it shouldn't be like this, but because if we have a lot of this, this gravel will be here and hopefully the, also the cement, the concrete will cover the, this one. Otherwise, the moisture or the rust can crawl up and continue into the footings. But, um, but um, yeah, it's okay. We do this. We do this. Do do do. And some gravel starting to go in. So this is actually day three, so we are already starting to put the food in. Uh, I said it uh, yesterday also, maybe the first day as well. Huh? I am... Uh, I'm, I'm impressed over the speed they're working. But the welding doesn't need to be super strong. It needs just to hold the, the steel cage in place until we pour the cement or the concrete. And that is hardened, then they don't have any purpose anymore. And it's gonna do some more welding. Ah, okay. It's, on, it's there on top of the. I just then had a crash course in uh, welding. <laughs> when I was young in the military, I was 21, I actually went on a, on a welding course. And I haven't done much welding since then, but uh, I refreshed myself on YouTube and uh, I still remember a little bit and then I did some welding trying. So I am not perfect welder, but uh, I would say I'm better than the one, at least the one who was welding here. But now he's okay. He, uh, he's better. So, um, Exercise, <laughs> no, uh, lesson learned. And the search for gold continues. I don't know how deep we need to dig to find gold, but let's hope we will find something soon. Looks like they mean this one is uh, completed. Huh? Yeah. 
We need to backfill because it, it goes down. All right. And we have some more delivery which we ordered yesterday. Uh, I said I would like one straight wood and this one is no good. But it's not usable for anything. My god, it's... I had the foreman to come up here and uh, I'm looking at my wood and uh, you can see here huh? and uh, I'm not gonna buy that one I'm gonna buy the white wood next time and I'm gonna go there and pick out what I want because for the form of the columns you need something straight huh? They are really crooked. It's like... Yeah, okay. But he will accept it, so I'm not gonna say anything. But for me, this is no good. But okay. We're in the Philippines. So 110 mm and 116 mm. 22 by 2. Which is not 2 by 2. They are... Uh, they are only is that two by two, two by four, a little bit mixed. <laughs> yeah, they are. Ah, uh, that was actually two by two. Yeah, and this one is like two, two and a half. But uh, what can I say? And I got some marine plywood, I think it's 16 millim millimeter. Uh, and uh, I got some wood which we used last year, so I'm gonna reuse that. And we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna make a mixing board out of this. So I'm gonna try to glue it together and then using some screws. And uh, yeah, screw, glue. And then I probably will try to put some uh, varnish uh, on the inside just to protect it a little bit because this is really getting beat up by the people. Uh, that's my project now for today. And I know also people is interested in prices. Huh? That is uh, this plywood is 1650 peso. And we got delivery of uh, steel, 16 mm is uh, 350 each and 10 mm is, um, is uh, 142 I think. And uh, gravel, crushed one, 2100 peso. And the sand mixed uh, is about, uh, depends on what kind of sand, but uh, around 1006 a load. And one load is uh, 3 cubic. Is uh, ready. Uh, I want to put some varnish inside. Uh, it protects a little bit, uh, but this is where they pour the concrete from the mixer. And they pour it in here and then they shove it up to buckets normally and bring it to where they want it and let's go down and see maybe something have happened down here in the last hour wow we have a column going up really that is good that is good let's go down and uh, this looks good huh? it's standing on the shall we call it the steel chairs they made and uh, yeah, it's a bit close to the to the earth over there. But, um, yeah. yeah, but okay, we I guess I accept it. 
Maybe we should have dug out some more then, but... And they put another one here. And they have... Another one down there. Alright, so three steel footings is down. One column is up. Okay, the... I'm gonna put another column, I think. Let's see how they do it. Two, four, five people. Looks like heavy. Maybe I should help? No, I do the video. I am the video boss. We go a bit away here. So let's see how they do it. So ra radio going here. Oh, that's not not much support on this side, huh? Good. Safety first in Philippines. Look at the shoes. That is uh, safety shoes for. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Uh, ask him to turn down the radio a little bit and uh, he can do when I'm finished with the video. So now they are safe. <laughs> so one goes down. Okay, it's down and somehow they need to to lock it in place or first of all find the right place maybe yeah? and then I think they already marked in the in the steel where it's gonna go because it's gonna go there in the middle. Then they have the fish line which uh, then indicates the correct right place to put it. Or then we have another one here. I don't know if you see the fish line goes over there and there's another one go there. And I don't know if this is in the center. Okay, let me try the other nail. 
Widzenia. Winna bo budzaj! It's also easy to put it to a connector, it's heavy and uh, all the stocks and the, the steel twisted inside each other down there, so yeah, but, yeah they have their, their ways, so. that is the support, a stick with some nails. And they, they can do really a lot with for us primitive ah. things then <coughs> and this is yeah working for the support <laughs> next support is over there Two thirty in the afternoon, and um, they put three columns down, and they're digging the last holes. I don't know if it's the last one, but um, yeah, preparing. But anyway, the foreman said that they will pour concrete tomorrow for the footings. So I don't know how many they do, three or if they want to get finished more today, I don't know, we'll see. We will see what he decide. So it looks like they are getting ready for this one and probably also this one so I would guess they're gonna pour five tomorrow that is my guess so we'll see but this is just also after three days hmm. Let's have a summary of day three. Uh, first of all, my wife, uh, Mildred, she is uh, watering the plant. Hello. We have uh, how much? That one is big, big, uh, four big one, and the rest of them died. So now she planted the whole row again to see how they're gonna do. Let's hope they will do better this time. And Justin, he is watering the plants. I think this is the avocado thing, yeah? Have new leaves coming, huh? So, it is hoped that there will be something. And, uh, yeah, we made the mixing board. And then we go down and have a look. They did uh, some welding. We got sand delivered. We got sand uh, S1, which has uh, some stone mixed inside, and also fine sand. Uh, yeah, that was. It should have been S1 sand, but it's no big deal. And now they're preparing to bring down the mixer, the cement mixer. And then they will start tomorrow sometimes to pour the footers in, uh, I don't know, but have actually five which is ready for pouring, so I don't know if they do all. We'll see. We will see. And here they're cleaning the 
are leveling out the grounds for the for the mixer. And one of the guys have a radio. So I think they like to listen to some kind of show. So five steel columns gone up, ready for pouring. Cement for the footer. And uh, yeah, more or less uh, finished with the other four holes. It's not much left. That is what happened today. Everybody is tired, I think. Hard working. 